What up? It's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be talking about aim assist again. But first, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Uh, if you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you really like it, share it with somebody. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. I'm going to ask your opinions on this matter as well. But first, we're just going to get right into it, and let's talk about what really is aim assist, because there are so many people out there that have no idea what aim assist even is. They think it's an aim bot. They actually literally think that aim assist is an aim bot. Now, aim assist has a lot more to do with control of the velocity of a controller's aiming, okay? So when looking at a non-friendly target or, it would, yeah, just a non-friendly target, it doesn't even have to be an enemy, but, you know, um, something that is considered to be an enemy target, at least. So uh, in COD, like a turret, you know, or a sentry gun, we'll call it, um, as well as kill streaks, all of those things have, uh, will trigger aim assist <clears throat> when you aim at them. So what is aim assist exactly okay like i said it is a slowing or control of the velocity of your aim now it is also a m increase or um its own bump of velocity you if you will so if you're at a dead stop and something runs by you will move some you will not actually lock on and follow the target like that but you'll move in the direction of the target as to accelerate a uh, somebody micro aiming or somebody strafe aiming to get on target a little bit better with a little bit of help so as you see here I'm aiming in and out in and out okay and this is where we're gonna get where we're really gonna talk about today is how to actually trigger aim assist how to exploit aim assist and how to more or less get the most out of the aim assist systems built into fortnite and yes uh, some of these techniques will work in other games and some of them will not and uh, you know that's just how it is like and you know some of them will actually be like universal in a sense like the basically the velocity of somebody running by you or you aiming at somebody just dead aiming at them is going to be about the same roughly they, the the way that the aim assist actually like um smooth like the smoothness of the function is really what changes game to game so like in battlefield that's nowhere near as smooth as say call of duty and it's not supposed to be that's the point um and there are some downfalls to aim assist uh long range shots it, it actually won't put you on the target where you need to be because you may need to lead the target or you know in some games it might try to keep you on there and slow you down too much and it, it really does in, in have its drawbacks it's not perfect and neither is keyboard and mouse but you know keyboard and mouse does offer a lot more accuracy um right right away for any given person but you know, a lot of the mediocre or subpar keyboard and mouse players will exclaim, if you will, that controller users have aimbots. So, yeah, what like what can we do as console players now that we can, you know, cross platform onto, uh, you know, multiple games and mostly people really getting into Fortnite with it. But a lot of the Xbox games can already do this and they're, you know, it's becoming a bigger trend. So what can we do to get the most out of our aim assist? Well, as you saw me doing earlier, I was aiming in and out, in and out, in and out, and at a really rapid rate of speed. So that in itself will activate more often an aim assist scenario. So because you're aiming again and again and again, you're basically telling the system to re-trigger the aim assist, which in a gunfight will help you to control your velocity of aim as well as uh you know basically if they stutter strafe to the left or right really quickly change uh you know the movement for you or completely halt your left speed when they're moving to the right now that being said the other way which is the the original like p thing that people were learning in fortnite is to crouch stand up and then crouch again which has been changed a few times, but it r still pretty much works um, in the same way that it always did. And it, you crouch, and your aim becomes more 
accurate even, but it also activates a more accurate aim assist, which can be bad in certain situations, but that really comes down to the situation. Uh, for instance, like crouching in a close quarters gunfight might actually get you killed pretty quickly. Um, with an, you know, so you might want to learn to hop. Now that's another one that we'll talk about, which doesn't work in a lot of games, but jumping seems to show some forms, especially when there's uh, barriers in front of you, objects in front of you. Like if you jump up over a wall, you can snag a pretty strong aim assist to get some pretty nasty shots off. Uh, from just jumping now hopping around when you already have your aim on somebody on the ground no that's not really going to activate the aim assist at all but by doing a uh, jump you know and then to an ads you might actually you know improve your chances now the thing again i said is how can we get the most out of this as a console player well crouching is pretty easy and uncrouching is really easy as a console player in my opinion now, granted, with a, with a mouse and keyboard, you can crouch and stand up pretty easily too, but I would argue that the left click of the thumb while aiming is just way more intuitive than actually moving your hand or your finger to press a different button. Now, that being said, there are, you know, keyboards and mouse, uh, you know, mice combinations or keyboard and mouse combinations that have macros that allow you to record, uh, you know, a set of button functions and just basically do a bunch of abilities really quick, which a lot of people do in Fortnite for uh, faster building on PC particularly, and that can be a great help um, for a lot of people uh, so that you don't even really, like you're basically selecting and building at the same time kind of situation. So that's up to you whether or not you use those and, and stuff like that. But the question is, is like aiming in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, is that possible for a regular controller player? I, I can't tell you for myself um, if it's possible for you. For me, it would be a pain in, in the ass. And when you see me doing it, I am, in fact, using a modded controller. And most people do play with scuffs, which are a modded controller, which leads me to this question is how do you feel about actual modded controllers? In the comments section below, tell me how, what your opinion is, what kind of modded controller you use if you use one, be it a scuff, you know, competitive style or with a chip in it to alter the functionality with like rapid fire and so on and so forth. Or if you hate it, you know, like why do you despise it? Now I do understand in a um, competitive aspect using some form of, uh, you know, enhancement is pr pretty much ridiculous. But when we're talking about just public multiplayer, I do feel like people are, uh, do have access to the keyboard and mouse macro setup and they do use that stuff. So maybe it's kind of the same in fairness there, but in a regulated, you know, sporting event type situation, I would have to say that in my opinion, personally, I don't, I don't think it's fair and I don't think it should be allowed. But I do not think it should be something that's taken away and banned from consoles, like straight up cheating and altering the games themselves, because it is unique and fun. And we've had turbo controllers and stuff like that since the inception of video games almost. So that, I think, is uh, a really gray area. But I'd really like to know your guys' opinions. And I'd, you know, I appreciate everybody that came out and watched the video. Thank you. It means a lot. And uh, all the guys that have been watching and subscribing over the last few months, you guys have been, you know, helping out a great deal. Uh, I don't have monetization yet, but I'm so close in terms of view hours that, uh, you know, I'm motivated. And while this isn't the greatest video ever, it is uh, a video and I really wanted to get something out for you guys um, because I haven't gotten a video out in a couple days. So yeah, with that being said, I did get a video out with some, uh, you know, hopefully some tips that'll help you and uh, maybe some ideas to give you, you know, to learn some new stuff. But uh, this guy thought he was sneaky here using that launch pad and uh, I heard him, I saw him and I gave him the shotgun twice, two hits, bang, headshot, winner, winner, chicken dinner. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, as always, have a great day and keep gaming.